Hello my friends and welcome to my laboratory. In the last episode, this 3D printed fuel injected engine revved to 6000 RPM. There are three main ways to make more power out of an engine. Number one, force more air and fuel inside the engine. That's usually done with a turbocharger or a supercharger. Number two, increase the compression ratio. And number three, increase the size of the engine, because a bigger engine pulls in more air and fuel, which results in a bigger boom. So today we are focusing on increasing the displacement of this engine. When it comes to calculating the size of an engine, the two main dimensions that you'll need are the bore size and the stroke length. So increasing any of these dimensions will give you a bigger displacement engine. And for that, I have this, a stainless steel pipe that's gonna be my next cylinder slit. With a 57.8mm diameter, this gives us a 10mm increase from the PVC pipe we used before. So if we do the math with this formula right here, we are gonna increase our engine size from 80cc all the way up to 125cc. And if you are wondering how do I stay so sharp when it comes to all the calculations needed to design a high performance 3D printed engine, well, I want to introduce you to Brilliant. Brilliant is an interactive learning app that makes tough concepts click by letting you learn by doing. Instead of just sitting through lectures, you get to solve problems step by step, which studies show is way more effective for actually understanding and remembering. The lessons start from the basics and build up, so you are never lost, and they are designed to keep you engaged with fun challenges, tricks, and encouragement along the way. Plus, all the content on Brilliant is crafted crafted by an award-winning team of teachers, researchers and professionals from Stanford, MIT, Microsoft, Google and more. Making a habit of learning every day is one of the best way to grow. Whether it's for your career or just for yourself, Brilliant helps you stay consistent and hit your learning goals one step at a time. One of my favorite lessons on Brilliant was on circuits. We all know I need to polish that injection system. And with these lessons I finally got the chance to understand everything in a way that actually made sense. <laughs> to learn for free on Brilliant, go to brilliant.org slash alexanders laboratory, scan the QR code on the screen or click the link in the description. Brilliant's also given our viewers 20% of annual premium subscriptions that gives you access to everything on Brilliant. A big thank you to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Okay, so back to our cylinder sleeve. I started by cutting it to length and I made sure the mating surface between the cylinder and the head is as flat as possible to ensure a good compression sealing. And this is what I ended up with. I also did a bit of manual honing, but in the future I will have to get a proper tool for that. Let's take a second to appreciate how flat I got this with no precision tools. The next step was redesigning the cylinder body. I kept the water cooling and I did a couple of tweaks to get a better coolant flow around the cylinder. Then I printed the cylinder body in PLA plus with a 0.8 nozzle. Then I've installed the cylinder sleeve inside of it. It's something like a press fit so I definitely need to use a bit of force. And this is what I ended up with. The next thing I did was designing the piston. We have a lot of performance oriented features on this bad boy. Then I printed it out of carbon fiber reinforced nylon. And this is what I ended up with. It's definitely a good looking piston. Let's hope it's gonna perform. As you can tell we have narrower skirts extending 60 degrees on each side. This feature will reduce the friction and also lower the weight. And I've also introduced these three oil control holes. As I said before I designed this only with performance in mind. When you have a cylinder and a piston there are two tests you have to do. First cover the bottom of the cylinder and let the piston go through it. If you see the piston slowly going down that's a great sign you're gonna have a good compression and test number two the pop sound i think this one explains itself
Okay, so I think it's time to put everything together. I've got this actual gasket for the bottom of the cylinder, but I also use the gasket maker so we don't have any coolant leaks. So I got the cylinder installed. So the engine is all put together now. All that's left is to start testing, but before the gasket cures, I want to give you some more details on what I did because I didn't get the chance to record everything. First of all, I installed only one ring on the piston, right? Because I think the friction is going to be higher due to be a bigger contact surface and I don't want uh, things to explode, right? Next up, the crankcase. I didn't print another crankcase, I just grinded the hole that the cylinder sleeve goes in bigger, which gives us a bit less material when it comes to the studs area. So yeah, in case this thing is gonna explode and the cylinder is gonna fly away, we, we know why. <laughs> Next up, there's a lot of performance left on the table when it comes to the head. There's a lot more space inside the cylinder, so now I can add more valves, have a better placement of, of the spark plug. Yeah, that's gonna be for another episode though. So I'm gonna wait to, for the gaskets to cure and then we are gonna test this bad boy. Well, good thing I added a kill switch because the engine came loose from the table and tried to go for a walk. Also, let me know in the comments how many RPMs do you see on the gauge through all this smoke. Besides the fact that I had a lot of water leaking out of the engine, this is what happens when the engine makes compression. But anyways, I removed the water cooling system and gave it one more try. This time the kill switch didn't work, so I pulled the high pressure line from the injector to stop the engine. Because if you listen close, the engine knocked a couple of times. This thing still has compression, it would have definitely ran more. But I wanna open it up just to make sure I don't damage the crankshaft with those knocks. So let's open the engine. The first good news is that the crankshaft has zero damage. PCBWay did an amazing job with the crankshaft and I don't wanna damage it. Next up, let's remove the piston. It looks brand new, no signs of wear, even the o-ring is in great condition. But we expected this, because the engine still had compression before disassembly. Now look what's inside the crankcase. Hmm, chocolate milk. So the water also leaked inside the crankcase, mixing with the oil. The head and cylinder had no wear. The oil is definitely doing its job. In this shot you can actually see how much more room for activities we have when it comes to head design. So the head is definitely gonna get upgraded soon. Well, there we have it guys. We successfully increased the displacement of this high performance 3D printed engine. I wanna say a big thank you to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. If you would also like to support this project, the Patreon link is in the video description. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.